Hi, YouTube. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. The chat doesn't really know about this because this was a golden anime that was picked. Uh, there's Brady, there's Rosie. Say hi, guys. Oh? Bruh, why would you... Classic bad mobster guy face from anime. Right? Classic spy stuff. Can I can I comment on this? Sure, go ahead. Uh, it's so funny that people still believe that they do stuff like this when in actuality spies, like with the CIA and stuff, they just tweak tiny little things so that they're able to change from their personas and they stay a little bit true to themselves without being too much. There's a really good video uh, online. I forgot who did it, but like where spies kind of just show the little changes that they make, um, whether that's aging makeup or even just like their fa their hair, just like simple stuff. Yeah, Rosie, I'm sure you've been to the International Spy Museum in D.C. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I was almost going to try out for the CIA. Like, I was so close to it. I was like, oh, but I've got to go and think about my personal health. You, you, <laughs> chat, you, you guys better watch the fuck out for what you say. Otherwise, it's FBI open up in here when Rosie's here. <laughs> yeah, that's why sometimes when I'm on stream, I'm like, ooh, how much am I going to reveal? <laughs> because part of this is still online. It's still possible. All of a sudden, all uh, the DGENs leave. <laughs> <laughs> so cool, bro. You guys see Ed and Brady disappear. They got too close. <laughs> got too close. No, oh, Rosie, do I have stories for you? People, <laughs> people thought that I was like, uh, I don't know how to put it, like doing some like uh, shady shit when we were in Europe, right, Brady? You remember that? Like, yeah. I got accused of so much fucking shit when we were in Europe. Uh, it was great. It's true, yeah. It, it, it was absolutely great. But no, what I was going to say is, like, in general, when it comes to acting or anything, you always have to place, like, if you want to make it believable, something close to yourself, something close to your heart that you can pull from. Otherwise, it's not going to be believable at all. Um, although, I, I guess when it comes to situations like this, I think it's a shitty job from the other spy to not check and see, like, have, like, a code word or something that they're going to use. Yeah, and the fact that he was right there next to him, it was literally right there next to him, and he's like, oh, I'm here, and he's like, what? What? Dude, just turn around 90 degrees, and you'll be good. Although, Brady, I, I, I have to say, for some reason, I think Twilight would be like your nickname. Huh? I think Twilight, Twilight would be like, yeah. My nickname? Yeah. Why? Because I'm pale, like a vampire. Because <laughs> you've done rants about Twilight before. So, yeah. <laughs> only in only as an actor. I only ranted about Twilight as an actor. I don't actually have too many rants about it as as Brady. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, like, the Twilight... Twilight serves as such a funny, like, case analysis of what some people think romance is and, and how some people can be blinded that there's a lot of abuse going on in the story <laughs> like i loved it when i was growing up as a kid i'm like oh my god there's a guy he's gonna save me he's a vampire he sparkles oh my god he doesn't kill me but then it's just like looking at now i'm like yo you're the fucking creep and like even robert Pattinson knew that it was a creep of a character and he was like fuck this shit it was Ooh. yeah you, yeah, it, it is oof. I, we all know what Ed, Ed's code name would be. He's already ch shared it on stream before. What's your code name? What would your code name be? Aww. Karen, Oh, Karen. Oh, Karen. Oh, Karen. Damn. Someone, someone, please. Oh my god, it was great. Oh my god. <laughs> I love him. I love him. <laughs> I sense no intelligent conversation. Can you, imagine, <laughs> can you imagine telling someone, I sense no intelligence coming from you <laughs> breaking up? <laughs> Yo! Yo. That, it's that, like, how come some of them don't have. Eyes, because they're background oh, characters. Oh, that's just too, like they're background characters. Yeah, yeah. No, no one gives a shit. <laughs> it's like NPCs. Yeah, you just forget. It's so you don't forget. They don't. They dehumanize them by taking away their eyes, which are the the way into the soul. So you know that they're just a background character. Plus, like anime eyes are very expensive, <laughs> according to like uh, animation. Oh really? I never knew that. Yeah. 
Yeah, a lot of people, like, their budget's gonna come straight from, make, like, the anime where they have really nice, like, eye shots, usually, like, psychological thrillers or action, like, they spend a lot of the money on designing the eye, or, like, the stuff they do, yeah. If you can't even draw, uh, chat, you can't even draw the eyes that small. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it'd be difficult. <laughs> Dots. But, right. <laughs> but, right. The, but that's, actually, have you guys ever witnessed a breakup, a really bad breakup in public? Like at a restaurant or something? Um. Bless you. I don't think so. Thank you. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Just people I, yelling, I guess. But I, I, I don't know if it was a breakup or not. I didn't want to go check. I witnessed one. I went to a fancy restaurant and like the girl poured all the wine on the guy's like face and whatnot. And the guy literally oh just God. like, yeah, the guy literally just grabbed the whole bottle and poured it on her. And I was like, oh, it's one of those scenarios. <laughs> yeah, I was like, they did it to each other? yeah, they did it to so, each other. Look, they were that's children. When you, and... That's when you know that they don't care what they do to the other person or who they're in front of. They honestly do not like the other person. Yeah, because that... they're not worrying about what's going on around them or how people perceive them. You see, I because the guy sighed really light, like loudly. The, the girl went and like poured all the like you know her whole cup like on him, and he sighed really loudly. He took like one deep breath and like he just stood up, grabbed the bottle, and did it. And I was like, damn, that like the disrespect on both sides, dude. Like, damn. I, I was it's eating happy. Where that I night. Went <laughs> I was like, the drama is delicious here. Yeah. Yes. But now the awkward situation after that, it's like, who pays for the bill? Oh, the yeah. Time. What if they both stormed out and then that was the biggest thing that they wanted to do? They just want to get a free meal. They finish their shit and they're like, all right, we got a little bit of the drinks left. Let's just pour them and leave. Hey, that's, a, that's a kind of a smart tactic. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of a smart tactic. <laughs> anyway, you guys ready to continue? Let's go. Oh God! Budget ran out for this guy. Desmond is a young man. He can't even see the head of the family. The only thing he sees is his mother's funeral for the first time. So it's like no eyes background character. Crazy eyes. Uh, <laughs> foreground character. That's how you know, bro. <laughs> if they invest I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to you know. understand the language of anime. That's what this I'm looking This is how for. you know that he's also not going to be a super important bad guy because they didn't invest in the eyes. Maybe. Watch. Maybe. We're only one episode in. He's he's gonna be a minor guy. Watch, I feel it. Why does it, his eyes remind me of that, like of a crazy chihuahua or a crazy pug? You know, like we're either gonna see a wild because ass. they're big they're and running. they look like they're suffering. <laughs> <laughs> and that's literally what he looks like. That's what they remind you. <laughs> Where they're just naturally disfigured. Right? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say naturally, though. Chihuahua, yes. Pugs, definitely not naturally. Well, naturally as in they're born that way, but they're not oh, yeah. a natural breed. They were yeah. engineered that way. They can't breathe. Bro, my chihuahua was fucking breathe. weird. Or my, my pug Dude, is Chihuahua's fucking weird. Chihuahua's anxiety. <laughs> I think my pug is weirder, though. He's just, like, looking at you, like, the entire time. Just fucking weird face the entire time, man. <laughs> yeah. I already predict some other stuff that might happen in this show. It's sort of like a god complex, isn't it? No, this is, this is, I feel like highlighting that we're going to have at some point an episode where he like had to throw everything away and move to this life because he highlights it so much. I'm a man alone. I threw that life away yeah. when I became Twilight. Or, well, maybe not a God complex, but a savior complex. Like, savior complex. Yeah. Oh, I have to give up my identity because that's the only way to have a better world. Like that's basically what he you know, said is the know, world can only yeah. be better if I personally sacrifice. Yeah. That's oh. what you, you know what he reminds me of? Like the whole backstory for Big Boss. Which is quite literally like we cast no shadows, like we are like CIA agents. We we don't leave any shadows. But at the same time, he's like fucking creating nuclear bombs and like doing all this like good and oh, good or horrible yeah. shit. Yeah, like quite literally making the biggest like spotlight on himself and like disregarding everything said there. So yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like literally he's literally like ruminating about like if only i could disguise myself as a child i could do this this guy has a total savior complex <laughs> like it's yeah. all up to me if only i could shrink my size and maturity down to that of a, a, a of a near infant but like why I would save the world why wouldn't he have this savior complex if everybody regards him as this crazy secret spy, all amazing agent Twilight? The best of the like, best. Of course he's going to have it, yeah. Well, I think his comment about you'll never be in the papers, like why else would he bring that up if that's like not something that he feels would validate his actual ability to save people, but he can never have that thing. Well, I think in so far from saying like with that and the rest of the world, he doesn't have a, quantifi a quantifiable... Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess like thing to show him his successes and what it was all worth, and I guess we learn about that. Throughout but the series. I, I was about to say, Maybe. man, e even with the whole like, hey, you know what? I could have played the kid or whatever, and like, I w I wouldn't ever get caught type shit. We see the same shit with Metal Gear Solid, man. Guy gets a cardboard box and runs around in a military base and never gets fucking caught, you know? And people do this in real life. And, like, you know, when they're robbing stores and shit, put on a cardboard box, lie in the middle, and try not to get caught. People, for some reason, think that they can get away with a lot of stupid shit. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. But, no, I feel... Yeah, uh, it can still be a complex if you're actually still that thing, right? The, the complex just means that's his view of himself. That's his framework for himself. You know, you can have a persecution complex and actually be persecuted in some way, but it, it goes beyond seeing the causal relationship between the thing and the consequence you bear, right? It's like you view that as, as your whole framework. It's like, yes, maybe he saved the world in this one instance, but he literally believes, like, in all contexts, I, I, I'm the only person who can do this. But that's interesting. I feel like everything that he's just stated is more than likely going to be deconstructed down. I don't need a family. I'm going to get a family. I don't need to be yeah, in the spotlight. They're, they're I'm good. Yeah, I'm going to be in the spotlight. So the, oh, we'll yeah. see. That's cute. Aww. No, but it's good because it, even if we know it, we know it's cute to see it, watch it play. You know, right? It's, it's pretty. It's pretty like clear if you watch TV. You can see this trope going down our anime, but it's like, how will they do it to us? How will they keep us on edge? I feel like that's how we watch anime after a while. It's like I know a lot of these tropes, so what's gonna be different? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Why does she look? Uh, She's so cute. I love Anya so much. That anime, that anime, that anime with the uh, pink-haired girl. Uh, it's always on the covers. Oh. With we has like abilities, kills people. Uh, oh, Mirai. Oh, uh, you're talking about Mirai. Um, Future Diary, and you're talking about what's her face? Uh, no, I know. I, think, she, I forgot her name. I think it was Elfin Lead. Lied. Oh, uh, Elfin Lied. Lied. Yeah. Or something. Uh, Luce, 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 was it Lucy? Bro, I know. I know. You guys you're... might be speaking a foreign language. Like, I think it is Lucy. Keep going. Keep going. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bro, oh, it is Lucy. Yes, I knew it's been years. <laughs> I like how you were yes. able to pull that out. I'm like, I just just remembered watching that first episode and being horrified. Like, I watched it. I was like, what the fuck is this anime? Like yeah. yeah, she's got these little ear cap uh, hair pieces, and the doll she has also has little horns. True. See, I, I, I still don't know what those are. Like after watching the three episodes, I don't know what it is. <laughs> like just hair pieces, I guess. I mean, here comes the glue. Yeah, because this is how I feel. Adorableness. <laughs> Oh, so cute. Oh. He's doing that magician thing, like the first stage you show something, the second stage you take it away, the third stage you bring it back, and then the fourth stage you prestige. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now, see, here is someone whose intelligence he can respect. We've established that in a previous scene. Will he respect it? I, uh... <laughs> Will is he coming in here casting doubt? <laughs> will, it, will it be exposed that he actually didn't break up with that girl because of her lack of intelligence? Because faced with someone with actual intelligence, he actually struggles to connect with them. And in fact, he broke up with that uh, woman because of his own insecurities about settling down. See, I, I, well, he had to leave for another mission. Yeah. That mission was over. What? That mission was over, and at, this, at that point, he had still not established, or even still now, has not established like, the need or want for a connection with someone else. I know, but he still gave that as the reason for breaking up with her. Like he could have. Well, he said you know, his mission was over, and he said that it doesn't. He doesn't need. I know, it. but I think he was being honest when he told her, "You're not intelligent enough." Oh yeah, she's probably, oh, yeah, that, no, yeah, no. She's probably not intelligent. Like, but <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Is that there's, there's truth in that, but I'm I'm yeah. suggesting that the intelligence isn't the problem. It's his own insecurity about, um, like, being not being able to actually communicate in relationships. Mm -hmm. That he just kind of hides behind. But, you know, seeing himself as uh, superior, but here is a person he's going to interact with, with actual intelligence, and it's going to expose his inability to communicate. Well, and it goes far beyond that, because you also have to think about, like, the, first off, attachment settings as a spy, you know? You can't really get too attached to people because your mission's always changing. But as a matter of fact, you might as well say goodbye to your family for the most part. Because, yeah, if you bring danger, you're more than likely going to bring danger to your family if you're exposed. And anyway, question shippers. is, does he, does he use that as a crutch to say, well, I, I can't get attached because of my mission? Or is it just because he is incapable psychologically? And he leans on that crutch of, well, my job requires it. I think he probably hasn't matured enough that way emotionally. Yeah, yet. Yeah. From what it seems. Or maybe he was just like, yeah, maybe he was just desensitized over time after having this. Maybe he didn't have a stable foundation when he was growing up, yeah. and then he got into this, and this was his life purpose, and now he <laughs> has to be faced with the fact that he never got those skills. It's something that he's lacking. This powerful guy is lacking. So how would you treat someone like this, Edgar, if you saw that these were this kind of schemas at play? Well, first off, I, I mean, if we're, if we're looking at this particular scenario, what I what I would tackle is his whole mentality of like, if it's for the mission, he'd do anything for it. Yeah. So quite yeah. literally using that towards your advantage as a therapist and being able to incorporate certain things like, i.e., you have a kid now. So how do you incorporate the kid into your everyday life while making sure that they're also getting the best uh, situation out of this? right how do you make sure that you keep your work separate from your family life while also maintaining that like parent good parent status not going into a paul status you know how do you like there's certain things that you have to be able to address and i think the number one thing for this individual especially with this complex is sort of starting off with shifting it into like hey you love your work why don't we get to, we don't why don't we go ahead and go into this by making this into a mission a lot easier for people to accept and to break down their whole uh structure immediately what would yeah. you do, though? Rosie? Brady? How would you guys approach this? Can't hear you. You're, 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 you're muted. You're oh, muted. I said Brady can go first, because I'm a psychologist. He's a psychologist. I, yeah. Well, I mean, like, right, I, I take the narrative perspective, and here we actually have the character self-narrating his thoughts, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, the, the, kinds of, the kinds of questions I've been bringing up are what I would be asking him. So, As, so you know, my first question would be, like, how do you see this job you have and integrate that with like what you see as this is the person i have to be because of my job versus this is the person i have to be because i perceive my own social limitations right how much of your lack of communication and lack of connection is based on the narrative of this is just the job i have to do right that's what's required of me the world will literally not be safe unless i impair myself in these ways, right? I would focus on that narrative and try to understand how much of uh, that is being covered up by that narrative. So, how much of your, your interpersonal uh, difficulties are actually your interpersonal difficulties and not a result of the job you've taken? So one thing that I'm curious about, and I'd probably prefer to have Anya as a client than him as a client, just because I'm curious right. as like, Family perspectives, how many orphanages has she been in, if she's been in many orphanages, or if this is the first one, 
Yeah. What happened? Uh, how did she get her abilities, first off? And then also, does that lead to toxic traits of thinking, excusing, say, certain like behavior that is really dangerous in order to maintain what is a family in that regard? What's up, Rosie? In a couple of minutes, in a couple of minutes, they'll, Anya will explain a little bit about where she comes from. Um, they give a hint, but I'm sure there's going to be a character, like, arc episode with just her. Um, yeah, so, yeah, like, five minutes ahead. We're, she's going to say in a, in a sec. Chat, five head moment? Fuck, guys. <laughs> I'm not spoiling, Crave. I'm forewarning, okay? I'm talking, you guys. Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, no, he he's got the problem sometime, like uh, Lloyd, is that like, and I feel like I've seen this a lot of people in our in our field, is that they kind of yeah they do get that god complex or like it's only me that can do this. It's like, dude, at the end of the day, you're a cog in the machine. Like, Ooh. your name is not gonna go down in history. Like, even if you wanted to, so you gotta accept that. And also on the side make your own goals and how you measure successes in life, like happiness and stuff. Cause I see a lot of people that throw away all kinds of stuff just for the, for the field. And it's like, what happened to the rest of your life? Like it's Oof. great, but no one's going to know what's happened. <laughs> what happened to the like, rest I of mean, your life? Oof. <laughs> okay. I mean, like, well, while, we're, while we're at it, can, can we touch on, on one thing real quick, which is how many people have this savior complex specifically? And I hate to, hate to throw this out there, Brady. No offense to you, but I'm quite literally like talking about, for example, you're an underprivileged, like, say, colored based uh, regions. And you have a bunch of white therapists or white doctors or white whatever coming in here being like, oh man, I gotta save these people. And like not even understanding a fuck about the like community or the culture or whatever. But they're over there and they're spreading their white virtue, man. They're in there and they're like, hey, you you guys are not understanding the truth. You know, you you guys roasting each other in a Latino setting, that's toxic, man. You guys don't you, like, you know, not trying to understand that, hey, you know, Latinos do this as a way to actually like form bond and that's sort of a cultural way that started way before, you know. I see this as a criticism of anything I said, but that's no. exactly the problem with Western psychological thinking. Most of uh, the, the primary psychological texts are written by old, old white, white guys. Yeah. And they, they completely ignore uh, cross-cultural uh, dynamics, right? Like Western, uh, like Austrio's uh, Anglo, you know, centric psychology doesn't apply at all to like indigenous African cultures. It doesn't apply at all to Eastern uh, cultures. Awesome. Yet we treat it like it's like it's universally universally applicable, and it's not. It's the system that I use because it's the one that we learned, right? right? And and because because the nature of psychology is to use frameworks, right? Nothing about narrative therapy or attachment therapy or psychodynamic therapy says this is the right way to think about it, right? It's just a framework that we apply. So there's nothing wrong with actually applying a Western uh, 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 therapeutic method to someone who is outside of that culture, but treating it like it is the universal solution is is you see, one of I, the main I, problems I, with I, like the DSM, for example. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's like I'm not even touching on a DSM. No, don't I'm, you, don't I, you I, come in here I, saying I, shit I, I, and calling I, me I, out. I, I, I have. I, 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 I don't even. Call, I don't even, call, okay. even calling you out though. That's the thing. Is I'm I will clarify. Yes, please, Rosie. This is because this has come up because Ed and I were having a talk about this earlier today, and why he said no offense is because you're white. <laughs> so I'm just throwing that <laughs> out there. Yeah. True, gonna, true. But no, uh, the the rants. Rants would right. be, yeah. Oh yeah, I, yeah. No, my my biggest thing, which this will now officially commence my rant. Go. <laughs> Go at it. Go ahead. <laughs> This is Rosie this is, Rant time. Guys, get some is, fucking Doritos in the chat for the Rosie Rant. I'm going to take off my glasses. Prepped. <laughs> all right. This goes to international affairs. And this is my gripe with all you motherfuckers in my class that thought you knew the shit. Because we're watching they're right now. Prep schools. Yeah, probably not. Because they're in their fucking prep schools in rich ass motherfucking islands. Oof. Anywho. You cannot go to a country for like a class abroad project for three fucking days and build a fucking hut and think that you know everything about the fucking culture. Oh my like, fucking god. I, it <laughs> annoys the hell out of me. Like even people within the US too. Like yeah. it's like 
Just because you studied about this in a book does not mean that's how it's going on in real life. <laughs> That's great. Oh. 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 My dude. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Like he's completely disconnected himself from the artifice of like being able to fill a father role. Right, like he 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 can only conceive of this as a role he is playing, like an artificial persona. Give him time, man. He's a first-time father. Would you be able to handle a kid? You got one? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> look, I look, I hand out the critiques. Okay, I don't take. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, look, why do you think I became the psychologist, okay? I want to be in the chair, all right? I'm asking the questions. I don't get asked the questions. Brady, <laughs> I'm going to tell you now, you're going to get questions. No, no, <laughs> sorry, okay. not sorry. I don't, you I don't, like it. I don't, you I don't, like it. I ask the questions, okay? Okay. <laughs> you, you can deconstruct this all you want. But, but why, do you, why do you think we've chose... The, I'm, I'm saying we old. now to, to bring the subject off of my, my personal yeah. self. Why do you think I... You're getting nervous, that's why you're horrified. You're getting nervous because you're cold now, you red tomato oh, bitch. Red. Oh. <laughs> now, I'm trying to, now I'm trying to make it seem like it's a collective issue. Oh. <laughs> what is he though? <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Potero, hey, bro, I'll be honest. I'm a fucking cheese muscle, dude. I'm like sitting in the chair. Oh, yeah, I'm sitting in the chair and I'm like, oh shit, how did that happen? Like, give me more info as I'm going into like big therapeutic interventions. Like, yeah, bro, I'll admit it. 100%. I'm fucking cheese muscle. So I'm a, you know, fuck, dude. It's part, of, it's part of our job title, you know? One, one of them is like, hey, you know, get all the gossip. The other one is deconstruct it with intervention skills. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like your nose. <laughs> it's not. It's not weird. It's like not your nose that you don't I want have. to answer questions. You shine. <laughs> <laughs> Chat. Ask any personal questions. Go. Any <laughs> personal questions. We'll choose one, and he'll have to answer one. Maybe if it's okay with him, because Brady, consent. <laughs> I, 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 I love how Brady's like. This is a one-way criticism street. <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah, like, yeah, we're it, like Brady's getting okay. extra shiny now. It's because of the shower. <laughs> it was a shower, but now it's sweat. <laughs> <What? sweating. laughs> How long ago was you shopping? <laughs> Hours ago. Eons. 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 Take one again, you stinky. Eons. <laughs> Eons. Eons. I hand out the criticisms. I I hand out the analysis. Okay, I don't receive them. <laughs> Says you. This is not a. <laughs> this you. is not a. This Ed. is a one-way mirror sort of deal. Yes, I was it. I don't, I don't look at my, I don't look at my own reflection. Ever. <laughs> Tag team, go! I've never even <laughs> seen myself. <laughs> what, 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 I don't know. What, what I've never you? even seen myself. I never look in the mirror, okay? What are you, an empty fan? That's a lie. That's a lie. How much you guys want to bet that's a lie? He looks at himself in the mirror. Yeah. He'd be like, I look good today. <laughs> what you want to bet? We all I'm shiny it. today. Yeah, look, you're shined. <laughs> <laughs> it's a red Brady. It, it, it is soothing Brady. You guys are wild. I love you guys. Also, you don't look in the mirror? What are you, Edward Cullen? Like, what's up, dude? That's a, a weird complex to have. You want to talk about that? Why don't you look in the mirror, Brady? Oh. <laughs> why don't you? Yeah, why don't you look in you the mirror? You see a man wearing a mask who never takes it off. Why are you wearing a mask? <laughs> but I don't answer the questions, okay? Not taking questions. 
<laughs> you're wearing a mask even when you go to the shower and like you see yourself in the thing and you're about to get naked and you're like, oh, I'm still wearing my mask. No, the mask no. stays on. The mask stays on? No, you, need, you need some help getting that yes. mask off. Look, look the mask Ooh. needs to stay on uh, so that I can help others. Okay? That's kind you of need creepy. You need I can't to breathe. Help, I can't help anyone else unless I sacrifice my own identity. That's okay. the way oh, bad it is. Bad complex. He's sacrificing himself. He's sacrificing himself. You guys. Look, people are in danger, and the only way to fix it is to subject myself. You're to the only one in danger torture. because you're not letting yourself through, okay? You're in danger of losing yourself. <laughs> well, all I need is. Look, the thing that I need to heal is. is what? to be thrust into the role of a father figure of a child with an ambiguous horn setup who can oh, possibly no. read my mind. And wants a silenced pistol. That's the only way to heal from my current issue. Mm, mm, mm. Be a father to an esper? Is this what you just said? <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> <laughs> you're, you're directing it nicely. Until you called them out. <laughs> hey, All good. right, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> it's a good anime. So. Uh. I, I will say this: Isn't it kind of kinky if you wear that for too long? <laughs> Kind of if you wear what? If you wear that mask for too long, Brady? What are we talking about here? How long have you yeah, been wearing you that mask? mask <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Ah, I take my mask off, bro. I'm a uh, maskless for the most part, you know? That's the last piece. You like do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna see hey, it. There, there are certain philosophical positions uh, like uh, that are close to Freudian perspectives that we have a a sexual and attraction to ourselves. Oh. Are you sexually attracted to yourself? Is that why you keep a mask on so you don't see yourself? And you're like, mm, I want to fuck. Is that why? I, I, it is It is to protect, protect ourselves from our own auto-perversions. Oh. Yo, I never look at myself and be like, do I want to fuck myself? Like, what do you mean auto-perversion? <laughs> I don't know about you. But I don't want to fuck myself. You Unless, you know, like, you know, regular. Unless regular what? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you know, like, you, you take care of yourself, and then people call that fucking yourself, you know what I mean? Jelly bean, right? You know what I mean. I'm not gonna say what I do when I'm taking this thing. I like no. I'm staying silent. You know. like, like... <laughs> Damn, Rosie, damn. Yeah. I didn't know silence was yeah, an effective it. tool. <laughs> the mask comes off for that kind of stuff. It's hot. Uh oh, it's hot. Ooh. But Brady, bringing it out in here. <laughs> Self care and chill. <laughs> Girl, you're not talking for... about the literal self care definition here. You, you down for some self care and chill, Brady? We can self care and chill. You gonna self care and chill? Or are you gonna keep your mask on? <laughs> I never chill. I am always anxious. That's how I remain at peak efficiency. That's because you have your mask on all the time. <laughs> anyway, you guys ready? You guys are great. Yes, ready. <laughs> それでよなことしたか。手つなぎは早かったか。嫌われてる。まずいのは任務完了までにこいつとは良好な関係を保っておけば。さあ、ボーイ、ファイティングオールナシング。ライト。相手を知ることが和平への第一。ゲティングインド
Wouldn't that make life boring though? After a while, I mean, like, read all their thoughts. I mean, would it? Because you could also make a game out of it. But you know the all the answers. That's still exciting. Game. That's like playing Elden Ring with the nine 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 build. It is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I, I can see it being really exciting. Edgar likes, to, Edgar likes, he enjoys breaking the natural flow of things <laughs> to just, like... That complex... <laughs> oh, to completely <laughs> glitch the thing out. That complex? Save your complex? Oh. <laughs> Darren of therapy? Would you... <laughs> Rosie? What was that? Uh, yeah. What no, I was, just gonna, I was gonna say, would, would you yeah. like it? Question for you. Okay, go ahead. Yes. As a therapist, do you see yourself as more of an educator or as a caretaker? Ooh. Ooh, that tells a lot. How about I say half and half? It depends on the client because it's always switching. Oh, some, some clients definitely need more education based and they'll oh, even stay wow, there. Wow, wow. Well, other clients. What a fucking cop out. It if, depends. No, it really That's does. That's life. You can't be black or white thinking. Yeah, you gotta be gray, baby. Yeah, you gotta be gray. It's all about the gray, baby. <laughs> In between, no, the gray area. Yeah, you always have. Gray, gray. <laughs> Bro. Uh, you, you want to talk about the gray area? The gray area is magnificent. It's it's a good gray. place to be. Yeah. Gray. Yeah, don't you have a gray shirt? Talk about the gray. Talk about the gray. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, it does depend. It does depend. I'm poking fun, but it does depend. If, yeah, because there are. Could not tell of... you were poking fun. Not at all. <laughs> I just wanted to see how he would respond to that. So uh, it was a pretty good response. I, I thought you were going to choose like a teacher, to be honest. Oh, yeah, no, it just depends. Yeah, that's the best way I can put it. Some people really need a teacher in their life or a good senpai. Other people really just need to be heard, need those venting, need everything, you know, the, the good intervention techniques. But let's go. Oh, no. I'm a good bargain. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, poor thing. Bruh. Bruh. How many parents go through this shit, man? I've seen countless by all these fucking parenting books. Can I just say, he has done more than half the work just recognizing that he doesn't know how to do it and educating himself right understanding yeah. actually i don't already know how to do this i better not just assume i already fucking do and go ahead with it but saying you know what this is something i don't know about i'm gonna go educate myself parent of the fucking year right here compared to some of the others we've seen compared to paul this reminds <laughs> me a lot of like yeah it reminds me a lot of um like uh the the from the Rugrats, you know how the parents used to always look at Dr. Lipschitz uh, and like yeah. try to see like what his parents did things. I'm like, you don't see that often in anime where, or like not even just anime, but shows where parents don't know what they're doing and admit to it and like try to improve themselves. <laughs> so it's pretty good. Even if he doesn't know that he's being a good father, he's being a good father. Yeah. Acknowledging so your own absence or gaps in, in knowledge is, is a, a, a very good trait to have as a parent. Well, what, what I was going to say is how many parents actually go ahead and, like, pick up parenting manuals? Very little, because a lot of people don't expect to be parents, you know? Or when they are parents, a lot of it just comes off of, like, family values or traditional whatever, like, knowledge that's been passed down. So when you get a book that talks about, hey, putting on healthy expectations, talking about boundaries, what are developmental milestones, you know, how to listen to your baby, certain things like that, it goes a long, long way uh, for anyone or anything. So. Yeah, I mean, like, you'd think that, like, if you were learning how to crochet, right, would you just try and do that? Or would you look up some YouTube videos at the least, maybe read some things? Meanwhile, parenting is, like, one of the hardest fucking things you could ever do. And most people are like, I'll wing it. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> or they become fucking horrible they're parents. not willing to admit that they're wrong. Yeah. yeah or they become horrible. Yeah, you have parents that put their expectations on you. You have all parents. You have a bunch of like horrible individuals out there. Uh, remember, guys, just because a parent puts a house over your head and food or whatever, that doesn't mean they're a good parent. That's meeting the very, very basic requirements. Yeah, Bonfire, I would say like there are definitely self-help kinds of parenting books, but like 
at least what it seems is is he's reading you know th- th- things that are like more about developmental psychology right like yeah you know how development will go better if you if you don't uh you know scold them uh and and empathize with them try to understand things from their perspective like you know uh at this age reward systems work very well but they don't work forever right like those sorts of things like it reading child development books more than parenting manuals. But I'm sure there are parenting manuals that synthesize theory into actually usable stuff. But you just have to be a discerning reader to uh, yeah. you know, understand that what you're reading is actually based on psychology or just self-help garbage. Yeah, just make sure to always have more than one source. I think a lot yes. of people forget that like, because one book entitles everything that you would want in the cover doesn't mean that it's fact checked or that it's the all end all be all solution please look at other things online or you know pure red things or whatever also guys i gotta throw this out there because i've been seeing a lot of like tiktok videos and shit like that it is not okay to condition your partner that quite literally is called manipulation and like yes even giving rewards to your partner after having sex or doing a good thing is quite literally like the worst fuckable like fucking thing out there so like please don't fucking do it please just yeah the best way to put it out there like be smart about it be use communication because damn bro some some of these tiktok people that give advice are fucking horrible individuals it's the best way I can put yeah, it. Don't, please don't, please don't seek relationship advice from TikTok in general. Yeah. Yeah. No. Anyway. Algorithm. Oh, doggy. Oh, doggy. Yeah. Oh, oh. my baby. Oh. oh. More, more synth. It's more likely at this time you would stumble into us actually watching the show than to <laughs> like. <laughs> that's the rarity between the rants. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of families to go through. Damn, that's a lot of families to go through. That's like five different families. Holy shit, talk about anxious attachment, bro. Yeah. Like, as a kid, why not Pobrecita? That's like my entire thing. It's like, no wonder she's trying to cling on to him wherever he goes. Damn. Yeah. And, who and, knows how nice they've been to her. Well, not only that, but also like codifying it as a as a game, as a state of play, mm-hmm. right? Because I'm, I'm sure that the abandonment in other cases hasn't been so jovial. <laughs> Talk about fucking trauma, man. (laughs) What? Jesus Christ. (laughs) Also, man, man. Also, Silencer doesn't sound like that. Letting y'all know in chat in case y'all are wondering. Like, does the silencer really sound like the video games? No, it's fucking loud as shit as well. Guys, please. Yeah. There really should be no name as a silencer. <laughs> like, you should have to call it that. <laughs> Horrible. Like, like a slight quieter, maybe? Semi quieter. <laughs> Semi quieter, yeah. Semi quieter. It's the name. No, but oh, what is he? Like maybe people won't hear it three blocks away, but people one block away will still hear it, kind of thing. Yeah. It's, it's audible. It's still audible. Anyway. Yeah, this is not so wholesome. <laughs> oh my god, and this child is now witness murder. <laughs> this, is, this is so much trauma, dude. <laughs> スパイ失格。違う。ほほほほ。失態なのはあの子を危険に巻き込んだことだ。そうだった。子供がなかなか異世界。それを作りたくて俺はスパイになったんだ。ほら。あの野郎。
Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. That's my name. What? I fucked her. After you. How do you know her name? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! He did. That's how he knows the moles on her body. Oh gosh! Edoga. Oh gosh! Oh yes, daddy. daddy. I don't call anybody daddy, but damn, this one—he's a zaddy. A <laughs> zaddy. Oh. Oh my baby! Oh. She got a home! Oh. Oh. He's a cool liar, a nice liar. Good liar. Oh. Oh. He has a soft, he has a soft gooey center. Alright. Oh. I want Lloyd. What? <laughs> I want a Lloyd. <laughs> what a great series. What a great it's... show. Oh, my heart. It's like, it's cute. It's cute overload at the moment. Wow. Anya's so cute. Oh, I love her. I just want to squeeze her. She's just, whoa. Tell her. I'll give you everything, little girl. It's okay. You so cute. Oh, is there post credits? Okay, there's post credit, oh. guys. Let me show that back. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Apparently there's post credits. So I didn't I mean, watch the post credits, so that's. I I didn't watch the post credits. <laughs> dang, Rosie, dang! All right, ready? I want to cuddle oh. with Lloyd. <laughs> Look at him; it's a sexy beast. <laughs> are, you, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> How would she kill you with kindness? Yes. She wanted to cut off. Oh, that makes sense. Uh oh. He's got a final no exception. What? They're, they're single parents. Yeah. But that's because we need another girl. So are we finding a mama here? Mommy dumb. Is, is, she is great. I like her. I like she's, her. She's, she's, not, she, she's not like stereotypical like anime girl. Because I'm not going to say anything to reveal it. But I'm going to say she's not stereotypical anime girl in her role. Hmm. Mm. Yes. But I'm she's excited. She's also a waifu. I would say she's a waifu too. Oh, she's yeah. a waifu too. I That yeah. was that was really Awesome, actually. That was really, really cute. I, I wasn't expecting cuteness overload there for a second. Like, damn, damn. But anyway, Anya's really... the best. That has graced us for twenty two and two. <laughs> How would you feel about it? Who Brady? Brady? Yeah, 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 Brady. Oh, me. No, I, I, I think it's great. I, I think you know, there's, there's plenty, plenty to dissect from it that that doesn't require. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sickening characters to to uh launch those discussions from mm, mm, mm. Rosie? and it, and it can and it can reach depth in in character studies and wholesomeness without without needing to contrast rare wholesome moments with sick twisted behavior damn i mean I, this is it, this is irrespective of nothing else this is just Right. I'm not comparing it to anything. I mean, yeah. But a Anya's I life, dude, that was cute. Rosie. Anya is so cute. She, she doesn't. I love that she doesn't go out of her way to tell people yet that she can read minds. Because I feel like a lot of the times when there's an esper in the anime or something like that, like right off the bat, you know that they're an esper and that's their big role. That's the only role that they really serve. But Anya is the glue to this family. She is, she acts the perfect amount of innocence with actual having innocence. <laughs> like, it's, she's smart, <laughs> but she's got a little bit of that still. Um, and Lloyd, I just, I like how quick Lloyd speaks. He is a real zaddy, I would say so. He's a like, real if I had an anime crush, I'd be like, he's, he's, he's getting up there. He's getting there, you yeah. know? I don't like 2D characters, but he's, I could, I could. He's a spy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could, yeah, yeah. No, but I, I generally, I don't know. I didn't think it was gonna be this wholesome, but this turned out to be significantly more wholesome than what I thought it was gonna be. 
That is so cute. Yeah, episodes are really good. Yeah. With that being said, hey, why don't we open it up for, uh, I don't know, like, if you guys have any life situations or anything happening in your life, let us know. Jump into general, guys. That's what we're here for. Uh, feel free. You guys want to take a, a quick break, get some water, get whatever you yeah. need to, and then we'll come right back.